This is Bullion Max, Wholesale Metals Made Easy. Hi, I'm Mark Allen. We're going to take a guided tour about buying precious metals, specifically coins. And our guest is Sean Reynolds. He is the customer service manager for Bullion Max. Sean, welcome to the show. It's great to be here. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Uh, let's talk about uh, in in you know gold let's talk about coins let's talk about the stock market i mean we've got a lot of things to cover today mm -hmm. uh, the stock market is kind of volatile right now isn't it it's up down and maybe sideways a little bit well it scares people you know just the other day we had a situation where the market lost a thousand points but it all came right back right away what is going on there how is that even possible and so you hear explanations. I don't know if any of it's plausible, not plausible, but it happens so often, you know, and it wasn't that long ago. I remember when the stock market hit 20,000 and everybody thought it's never going to do that. Next thing you know, it's 30,000, it's 35, it's 36. Wow. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's hard to understand. So what's, what's really behind it. And I think that speculation is what really scares people is they don't know. And some of them don't want to know because some of them feel there isn't really a lot of accurate information that's out there. And so it really has them worried about their money, what they have now and what they'll have in the future. And so you know, me being the guy on the, on the phones, talking to our, our clients all day long, this is a significant concern for them. So the volatility of the market, what's the, what's the future value of the dollar? You know, they worry about that. We just keep printing money. We, we keep spending money and we print more money. We don't rein it in at any point. Well, what happens in the future if all we do is keep printing money? What is our savings? going to be worth? You know, can we send our kids to college? Can I retire? Um, so many things we want to do with what seems to be what little money we get to, to make life work. And it's, it, you know, it's, it's a real concern for our clients. What you just said, what you just described, uh, you know, the printing of money and printing of money, printing of money, and again, printing of money. Yes, sir. <laughs> it, it, it causes inflation. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. we know that food prices are way up. Gas is just as astronomical across the country. Um, what can we do to stop that? Well, it's, it's scary because inflation and price increases happen in, in different ways. You know, I, I saw something on the news the other day where at one of the pizza companies that sells wings, now you get two fewer wings, you don't get 10, you get eight. So if they're not changing the size of the cereal box, they're changing the amount of cereal that's in the box. It looks like it's just a price increase, or maybe the price stayed the same, but you're getting less for your money. So really what people can do about that is try to come up with some type of investment that always keeps its value. And this is where people look to precious metals. We, we like to call them hard assets because they are. We're never gonna reach a point where silver or gold becomes completely valueless. And so we're gonna throw it in the ocean. We don't need this anymore. We're just gonna throw it away. Far from it. You know, when I entered this business in 2015, Silver around Christmas time was about ten dollars and seventy five cents an ounce. Oddly enough, gold was also about a thousand seventy five dollars. Well, both have virtually doubled since then. Uh, they've both backed off a little bit, but silver staying about there. You know, gold is very comfortable at about eighteen hundred dollars these days. You know, we're not. I don't. I don't see now. I don't have a crystal ball. I don't. Right. I don't see silver going back down to ten dollars and seventy five cents nor do I see gold going back down to $1,100. Well, that would also be disastrous. <laughs> it, it would be, it would be. But it, uh, this, is, this is one of the things that people can do can, to hedge against that dollar. That's the term we, we like to use a lot is you're hedging against what other things might happen. So it's the value of the dollar. 
if that starts to go in the tank and it's not even worth becoming wallpaper for you. Um, or, or it is inflation, you're hedging against inflation. And so you want to make sure your dollars stay dollars, if at all possible. And you're controlling what you can control. Obviously, there's a market that dictates its value. But still, you don't have that for the dollar. <laughs> you don't have that for inflation. So this is a way for people to kind of take things into their own hands. And, um, and come up with a, a means to invest in amounts they can afford, which is nice. At Bullion Max, we don't have a minimum to buy. We also don't, really don't have a maximum when you get right down to it. So we've got great flexibility for people, variety of products. You, know, don't, you don't always have to buy a full ounce of gold if you don't want to. You can buy what we call fractional gold, which is denominations that are smaller <laughs> than a full ounce, obviously. Uh, but also silver is extremely popular right now. And it is, you know, let's face it, it has doubled since 2015. And it's stayed pretty much there. It didn't back off too much. And, so, uh, and so I think both are great opportunities to hedge against inflation. And there are other metals too. There's platinum and... Platinum and palladium. Yes, right. Indeed. Is another one uh, amazing. When I got in the in the business, palladium was about seven hundred dollars an ounce. Look at it now, over two thousand dollars. That's in about a six year span. Whew. That's I wish I would have bought some of that, right? Yeah, of course, <laughs> of course, we all we all do. Don't uh, count any of it out. You know, it's just it it's all becoming very important uh, as a uh, uh, an essential piece of anyone's investment portfolio. You know, it's uh, people talk about diversify, but sometimes they think di diversify within stocks and they completely miss precious metals as, as part of that mix. But it's becoming more and more uh, important to have different types of assets, such as these hard assets in your portfolio. So is it easy to get these hard assets? I mean, you can we see you know, advertisements all the time there. Mm -hmm. Some of them are, are good, uh, good companies. Uh, some of them are selling not so good products. And maybe you could talk about what to look for uh, in, I guess I'm not going to call it fake gold, but it's not, <laughs> you, you tell me. Well, I think first of all, whoever you make your purchase from, you want to make sure that they're a reputable dealer. And there, you know, there are some big ones on online, including us, that are uh, that are quite reputable. There are also some good local folks who've been in the business for years. You know, I think you 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 have a better opportunity to get something genuine to uh, purchase from someone you know or someone who is offering um, information for you, like customer reviews. If you're, um, you know, if you're part of the Better Business Bureau, uh, things of that nature, that always helps because if there are problems, if there are concerns, there are places where the public can post comments, concerns, mm -hmm. uh, things of that nature um, out there. But it also helps to see some of the usual and customary bullion pieces out there. So whether that's American Eagles or or maple leaves from Canada, or kangaroos, kookaburras, um, koalas from the Perth Mint in Australia. You know, you may want to speculate a little bit about things that you may have never seen before. Right. You know, the, the tried and true are tried and true for a reason. And I, I think there's just a lot less risk there, but not... Not always. <laughs> Got it. You know, we've we've heard of some recent counterfeits of uh, of silver eagles. Oh and my! I can't say that I've ever seen this before, but um, there are some 2019s out there that are not not genuine. As a matter of fact, they're not even close. Wow! And some of the information I have is other things that would cause you concern normally when you invest. These are available for five dollars and ninety nine cents. Well, as you can see behind my head, the spot price of silver is about $24. Why on earth would you think you're getting something genuine for $6 if the market value is almost 25 bucks? That you've got to be smart. You've got to be a smart 
uh, <laughs> yes. uh, investor, a, a smart shopper. And that yeah. brings us to the point that if you're looking uh, and watching us right now, we invite you to learn about investing in hard metals, investing in coins of all kinds with a reputable company. Visit our website, take a look around, learn. There's a lot of information on the website. We have it below Sean and myself right now. Take a look because I think you're going to learn and see what you can do to protect yourself, your family, and your future. Sean, with the volatility in the stock market and the relative I'll call it safety, and I think that's the right word, of investing in heavy metals. Um, Tell us about that. Well, I think the track record is really speaks for itself. As as I was saying earlier, we're never going to reach a point where we're going to say, this is valueless. We're going to throw this in the ocean. It's no good. It's a commodity like other commodities, just like coffee is always going to have a value. And frozen concentrated orange juice, as we saw in Trading Places in that movie, that was the traded commodity. <laughs> but the difference about precious metals is it really is an investment. And bullion coins were made specifically to help you acquire these metals relatively easily. And, and so you really buy what you can afford. You know, you decide what you want to do for you. We're not here to provide any type of investment advice. However, we can say people who have the same goals as you tend to buy these particular things. So when you're just starting out, you know, that's probably not the time to buy the collector's items, you know, type of things. That could be part of your investment future on down the line. But if initially the goal is to get some ounces, Okay, well, let's look at what that looks like. Is that bars and rounds? Is that um, coins that have a, a, low, uh, a low acquisition cost or what we call a premium? Um, it's, it really depends on what people's goals are. And then who are you going to sell to when that time comes or if you're trading or bartering? Do you but- know who that is? And that's a good question. That's a good yeah. question. Could, if, if I buy gold from Bullion Max today, mm-hmm. and in three years I decide I need some cash, will you buy it back? Will Bullion Max buy it back? We certainly do. We, we buy back. And what we would do is take a look at what you have, look at its condition, because condition is important, because let's face it, we're going to resell it. And we want those clients to be happy too with what they're sure. Doing. So yes, absolutely. We're, we would be an option uh, to, uh, to sell back just why eyes wide open. Of course, that would involve shipping it back to us. That would involve maybe some insurance to get it to us. We're certainly going to offer you a fair price, but you know, let's, let's be real. We're going to need to sell it for what it's worth. So we wouldn't offer people exactly what it's worth. Otherwise, you know, how do we- Of course, of course. I'm sure you've seen Pawn Stars where they bring in someone to evaluate an item and they say, that's worth a thousand dollars. And the guys from Pawn Stars say, all right, you heard the man, what do you want for it? And they say a thousand dollars. Okay, of course that's what they want, but you want to sell it to someone who's going to sell. And so you need to be realistic about your expectations there, right? Uh, when you get uh, but absolutely, that is that is a service that we will be providing, or we do uh, provide actually today. I'm going to use a golf analogy. Uh, in golf, the the game is the short game, sure. but purchasing gold, silver, platinum, and other metals that's the long game. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You don't want to buy it today and sell it tomorrow. I have, I have known people who have flipped gold years ago. Now, granted, the premiums were about $20 over spot, and the market was selling at about $1,213 uh, an ounce. They'd buy 100 bars. The market moves $100. They sell it. That is some hard money, Mark. That's, that's a yeah. lot of money to come up with up front. 
And then of course, when you go to sell it, you're not necessarily going to get 100% of what it's worth because, you know, somebody else is going to sell it. Yes, the long game, the long game, the long game. The purpose is to be protection. You used the word earlier, and I think it's just a perfect description of what, what precious metals can do for your portfolio. It's, it's a steady eddy from a market perspective, but you're, you're not necessarily really looking at what it does from, a, from that market side when you're protecting. If the market goes up and you make money on it as well, that is gravy for those mashed potatoes. But it really is to make sure your dollars stay dollars. And, you know, you mentioned the word collectibles. Mm -hmm. um, and in, in future shows, we'll be talking about collectibles. We'll also talk about first time buyers. We'll also talk about those who have been buying gold uh, for maybe many years and giving them some suggestions as well. But um, with that long term uh, 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 strategy, Mm -hmm. All right. To protect themselves. Uh, that's the way they should do it in, instead of if flipping houses, as you said, or flipping gold. Right. Absolutely. OK, so I talked about the market doubling within a span of about six years. If you look at the history of gold and silver, that's not common. That's that's just the current environment. I right. can't say that it's going to continue that way. I can't say that it's not, but it is a unique time in the history of precious metals for that to happen. So that's not what usually happens. It did happen, but it would be, you know, I wouldn't recommend anyone count on that happening again. Mm -hmm. You hear a lot of speculation of how long is it gonna take for, for silver to double? How long is it gonna take for gold to double? Okay, well, I like the, I personally like the idea of silver possibly doubling because at one point, in uh, spring of 2011, silver flirted with 50 bucks an ounce. Okay, so at some point in its history, it kind of almost got there. But gold at 3,600, 3,700, oof, that's a new territory. I don't know what it would take for that kind of market movement to happen. And so if that's what someone is, is, is looking at, I certainly wouldn't discourage them because it's up to them to make their own decisions for themselves. Again, we're not here to, to provide investment advice. I would just show them the charts and say, okay, never in its history has that really happened other than this little short period between 2015 and, and, and 2020, 2021. But let's face it, it took a pandemic to make that happen. Right. And at the, we won't do that again anytime soon. Yeah, right? please. <laughs> we, want, we want the pandemic over uh, fast, right? right. Um, if you're interested in learning about uh, the, the hard assets that we're talking about, take a look around our website. Uh, it, it's posted right here. It's bullionmax.com. It's very easy, very very user friendly. Uh, there are articles, there are uh, all kinds of information for you uh, to learn about these hard assets. And I think it's, it's certainly worthwhile to do that. It, it occurred to me that, you know, there are a lot of young people in their 20s, mm -hmm. as well as people who are older, that are looking for different opportunities. Is this hard asset buying is that something that everybody could do uh, or should do well i'll tell you what i speak to lots of customers every day and i and i'll tell you what it's it's everyday people it's it's firefighters it's ups drivers it's teachers it's former military, it's police, you know, virtually everyone is calling and inquiring about this. So they all have that same concern about the volatility and they all feel they need to do something. And, and what I like to do is as, as people come in and they call Boyan Max and they have these concerns and they make that first purchase, I congratulate them because it's one thing to worry about it, but it's another thing to actually take action. 
and do something about it and set some goals and make sure that you stick to those goals because it's anything that's hard to start is easy to stop. And so for their own uh, best interests, um, I learn about their goals and I, and I show them a couple of different products that might make sense for what they do. And people are welcome to call and ask us questions as well. It's yes, we've got a lot of great information on the website, but maybe it doesn't answer all your questions. And so we don't, we don't have a problem with, with you giving us a jingle and, and getting our, our perspective on things, or maybe if I can be your shopping guide or whatever to help, um, you know, to help people find out what are the right products for the for their goals and the type of investing they want to do. You know, the, it occurred to me that this could be a, a great opportunity for people who have a gift that they need to give to, say, a spouse, mm -hmm. right? So for an anniversary, for a birthday, and it's a it's a gift. Valentine's Day is coming, right? I'm sorry. A Valentine's, Valentine's Day, Day is, is yeah, just around the corner. Nothing says hey. hello, I love you like gold. Yeah, that's right. Or uh, I think uh, Carol Channing said diamonds are a girl's best friends. Okay, but no, we don't have that, but we, we got the next best friend. Yes, exactly. Um, <laughs> but it's a, it, it seems to me that, that would that's a gift that keeps on giving. You know, it's yes, not absolutely. a sweater, right? Absolutely. You know, and it's, it's, it's special when you get it, but it's going to be special every time they look at it and, and what it, what it is and what it represents. You know, we have some, we have some things that would be great for Valentine's day. We've got the bottlenose dolphins coins. They actually make the shape of a heart when they're jumping in the water. Come on. Oh folks. man. What says love <laughs> more than that? Silver coins, they're an ounce and a half. I believe it's a third ounce gold coin. So it's a fractional and man, gorgeous, gorgeous coin. I, I love the Perth Mint. They do such a great job with their artwork. And so those would be great gifts for Valentine's Day. But yeah, you're right, Mark. The, the list could go on and on. Gift giving precious metals is a great thing to do. What's hot right now? What's uh, 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 moving in the market? What are people buying around this time as we start our, our, our podcast? Sure. Well, we were taking a look at what uh, our most common sales items were for last year, and people really like the one ounce Buffalo round. It's one of the most affordable uh, ways to buy an ounce of silver. It's also something that is pretty easily traded. It's, it's a great design. So it, it doesn't say like, kiss me, I'm Irish, and you're trying to sell your metals to, a, a, <laughs> you know, um, someone from a country who doesn't appreciate that. Um, but uh, that is a sign of people collecting ounces. So that's, that would be a sign of our, our new folks uh, acquiring metals and they're, they're stacking if you've heard the term or not heard the term, they're really collecting ounces and they're trying to get as much as they can uh, for the money. Uh, other things that are rather common, uh, a one ounce gold bar, uh, that's typically one of the most cost effective ways to buy gold is to buy the full bar. So when I speak with people who are like, I wanna get some gold and I wanna get some silver and I've got you know, X number of dollars, if they can get a full ounce of gold in there, it makes sense to do that because otherwise the, the smaller um, denominations can, can be rather expensive. So if uh, what you're trying to do is collect ounces, there are there's certainly strategies that you sure. can to do sure. that. But our, our most commonly sold items reflect, that's the type of buying people are doing. And these are also things of beauty. I mean, you know, you mentioned the, the coins behind you or behind me. Mm -hmm. They're well, the one really... behind me here, the, the, the Canadian maple leaf is my favorite, whether in silver or gold. The, the intricacy of the design is, is stunning. And the amount of effort that goes into making such a, a beautiful coin, I mean, the, the Royal Canadian Mint always does an outstanding job. You'll notice that's also a four nines pure coin, not three. They don't monkey around there. They are serious and they also want you to buy their bullion, not the United States bullion. So they do everything they can 
to make it more appealing to you. And they certainly have my attention. Can you explain that? Eagles, but... <laughs> can you explain that a, a little bit more? Instead of a three nine, a four nine, you said. Can you yeah, explain kind of that? The industry standard for purity of silver is three nines pure. So when you talk about uh, it's as close to 100% as you can get. Well, the Canadians being the smart guys they are, they've added another nine in there. So th imagine something is 0.999 pure when mm -hmm. you want to be 100% pure. Okay, well, the Canadian stuff is 0.9999. <laughs> And they often uh, they they often uh, do uh, gold one more nine in their purity as well, and most of their coins are pure gold, so they're absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. But they also know they want to compete on price because they want you to buy the maple leaves. They don't want you to buy the other coins from the other countries, right? So, uh, but if you've never seen a gold maple leaf in person, it is just a beauty to behold. It's fantastic. It and and that's another reason for for purchasing the coins sure, is for the the beauty of the coins yeah i'll tell you what one of the most stunning things we have in in the store right now is the 2006 buffalo proof okay 2006 is the first year that the gold buffaloes were introduced so you know always great to get first year of issue so that's cool but again it's a pure gold coin an eagle is not a pure gold coin it's an alloy it's got a full ounce of gold in it so for you folks who are new to this don't panic you huh. still have a full ounce of gold in your eagle but the buffalo was created specifically because the states didn't have a a, a pure gold coin and the standard ones are are gorgeous don't get me wrong but that proof finish which makes it a, a, a shiny coin we love shiny things don't we Mark? yes okay gorgeous a shiny gorgeous. thing just went by i'm sorry yeah. <laughs> yes exactly but that that classic design with the indian head on one side the buffalo on the other side it comes in a capsule it even has its own nice little velveteen case fantastic that would be an amazing gift to give to somebody because first year of issue it's stunning it's an ounce of gold and it's an american coin is, is it better to buy American coins or Canadian coins or coins from around the world, or doesn't it matter? I would say it typically doesn't matter, but it all depends on who's buying what you're selling. Uh, though I've found people do have a preference. I've bought and sold a lot of silver and, and I've found you'll have some people who don't care what it is. An ounce is an ounce. So that's great when you're selling your bars and you're selling your rounds, maybe not so great if what you have are coins or more collector type of things, because they may not give you truly what those are worth. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's good to know who it is you're, you're going to be selling or trading with, especially if those guys are local. You know, I personally have found a guy who doesn't care what an ounce is, an ounce is an ounce, but I also know the people who really like coins and they're kind of coin snobs they're not the guys I want to sell my bars and rounds to because they really don't want them. So they're not going to give me what they're really worth, but they'll pay me more for my coins though. So it's, it's important to know, it's important to know a variety of those guys, but typically does it matter? I think variety is not a bad thing because sometimes people say, why well, I, I have all the Eagles I want, but I see you've got maples there. I see you've got Britannia's. I see you've got some kangaroos there. I don't have many of those. I'll, uh, how many do you have? Maybe I'll take all you have. That's music to your ears when you're selling. Is when you <laughs> of say, course. Take all you have. It's supply and demand like anything else, you know, and, mm -hmm. and good heavens. If you don't like what someone's offering you, go, go try another place. Don't just go, well, that's, that's my only option. So I guess I have to sell. Sean. Not at all. Sean, let's do a wrap up as as we end our our program today of what we've talked about. We've talked about how Bullion Max is 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 a, a, a well reputed company. It has a good background, a standing in the community. We, we've talked about inflation. Uh, we've talked about uh, uh, Art, any other thoughts here? I think the experience of the staff 
at Bullion Max is, is not typically what you see for a relatively new store. Many of us have multiple years in the business and we've, we've done this before just with other, other companies, but we have come together. We feel that we can do this better than anybody. And so folks who get to know us early are gonna be quite impressed by what we do as they watch us grow up with them. Sean, thank you very much for your time today. We really appreciate it and we appreciate your watching. If you're watching now, go to our website, learn about the, the opportunities you have uh, with gold, silver, platinum, and others, uh, in, and, and the, the beauty of, of gold and silver. I mean, these coins are absolutely spectacular. There, many of them are, I mean, they're art, pieces of art, as we have discussed. Go to our website and, um, and, and, and look around. And as Sean said, if you want, you can even call us. Uh, our number will be uh, on the website as well. Uh, for Sean Reynolds, I'm Mark Allen for Bullion Max.